We have this TPX351 that has been approved based on a phase three study um, in uh, primary and secondary acute myeloid leukemia uh, presenting some high risk uh, features. Um, one of the things that uh, basically um, has became more standard routine uh, uh, since the uh, initiation of the trial is uh, basically um, uh, the stratification of the risk of patient uh, based on uh, cytogenetics, but also molecular uh, data. Uh, the main uh, uh, risk stratification tool that we are using is the uh, ELN, European Leukemia Net uh, 2017 stratification. And some mutation like RUNX1, TP53, or A6L1 are considered as high risk. And that's something that is pretty new as compared to the uh, uh, older uh, classification tool that we, uh, that we use. And so the, the question that we had as we, we had a, a, a good proportion of the patient uh, that were included in this phase three uh, for which we had uh, the uh, extensive sequencing was to know if uh, basically uh, stratifying this patient uh, in uh, the subgroup of uh, risk based on the ELN 2017 will give us some additional information on which patients are uh, really benefiting from the uh, uh, treatment and uh, is that any group of patients that do not have uh, a benefit. And so uh, we, we uh, saw that um, especially uh, in the uh, uh, newly uh, defined intermediate uh, risk and uh, adverse risk setting, we see some benefit of the uh, CP351 in comparison to the conventional 73 uh, chemotherapy. Um, and um, the one thing that uh, was also um, interesting is, uh, that we, we found that uh, for patients that have an adverse risk disease and a TP53 uh, mutation, which is roughly uh, a good uh, third of this high-risk uh, uh, patient, uh, we do not see um, a significant uh, a benefit of CPX351 in comparison to uh, uh, to seven plus three. Uh, basically, the chances of response and the chances of um, overall survival are uh, similar between the, uh, the two arms uh, re-stratified using the um, uh, ELN 2017 and uh, basically compared for the presence or absence of the uh, TP53 uh, mutation. Um, that also means that uh, we saw a more striking benefit of the uh, CPX351 for patients with an adverse risk disease without the uh, TP53 mutation. Um, and uh, we see this uh, from an overall, stand overall survival standpoint, but also when it comes to post-transplant uh, outcome. Uh, which is extremely important, as we know that the, the risk of relapse in general for this uh, uh, challenging disease um, is uh, really high.